Hello, you cheeky bunch. No respawns here. Hope you're doing well. So in this video, I'm going to be rebuilding my original camp with a twist. So for those of you who don't know, this is my favorite location in the game for building, at least. Uh, it's awesome. It's really cool. And I'm going to now show you where it is. So effectively, just not effectively, literally just southwest of the crosshair. It's in the northern side of the map, so you can pretty much just be lined at north from Vault 76. You'll get there in no time. It's a really nice location because, as you can see, it's very flat. Um, we've got a few rocks and pieces, but obviously now that we have the bulldozing, not an issue. There's absolutely loads of wood around here, and it's just a kind of nice, cosy area. Plus, you have a very nice, cheerful little chi with chi tree with a uh, noose. So if you just uh, feel a little bit nihilistic, you've got that little totem there. Plus, you've got this soil sensor if you can be bothered to do that daily. So I'm gonna, um, I stupidly should have put one of my fences down first to actually get it everything in the right angle, but we can, we can do it by eye. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to probably start over this side actually. It's a good idea. It's not gonna build the whole thing for you. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of build most of it and then obviously I'll go away and decorate a wee piece, but. I've done this so many times now that I can kind of, I think, get these. So basically, I've i never actually shown you how I make this. But also, I want to kind of do it, twist it around and change it up a little bit. Uh, it's very important that I get everything. Uh, the fences, especially, because if you don't do them completely right, they tend to look a bit, well, stupid. <laughs> if I'm utterly honest, I think that's right. I love this area so much. I haven't had my camp here in a while, so I am low-key using this video as an excuse to build here again. Um, this is going to float a little bit here, but don't worry about that because I will be putting a foundation down, so it's okay. I do pop foundations down in the corners and in certain bits uh, to allow me a little bit of flexibility. And plus it looks nice. It makes it easier as well because it means you can connect everything together. So that is actually the first time I put the fences down properly. Um, uh, the first go. Normally I have to spend ages rejigging things. So high five to myself. Is that a random... Why is there random technical data? Well, that's weird. I can't even pick it up so I don't know what that is. Random technical data. Someone's just dumped that there and I can't pick it up. So I'm gonna, the main tent goes here. So whoop, this one here, I'm gonna pop that down now. Uh, a lot of people ask me how to get this tent. I'll quickly show you actually right now. Uh, so it's called the large tent. So there are two tent plans. One is the tent and one is the large tent. You want the large tent. And it's almost always on sale in Morgantown Station. Just server hop a little bit. It'll be there. Uh, if you have uh, the... Watch a bit. The perk that reduces... Uh, is it cap collect? Whatever it's called. Let me just double check. It is called... Hard bargain, rather. Um, that one, it reduces it to, I think it's about 180 caps. So it's not too expensive. It's pretty standard cost. And as far as I'm concerned, it's one of the cooler things you can get. You can squeeze quite a lot inside it, which is why I love it so much. Plus, I don't know, it just, I, I think, at least right now, because we'd still, you know, at the stage where we maybe don't have as many building elements as we'd like, at least for me, um, I just quite kind of like this, because you can make structural elements out of, you know, the walls and kind of do other stuff, but you still have this as your, like, little home, and it just feels like you're camping. It is called the camp, after all. Oh, that's just... I think they've changed the building a little bit slightly, maybe just because I'm on a controller, but I swear it's yanking it towards me a little bit more than it used to. Right, so there's my tent. So I'm going to try things. So let's put the... Oh, wait. Wrong button. Uh, so the reason why I've got loads of stored, by the way, is I have more or less everything stored up and ready to go, in case you're curious. So, right. Now, this is where I have my generators. I still quite, even though um I've got the large generator, I haven't actually on this character to get around to unlocking the uh, the windmill or the fusion. Um, I still like my little collection of medium and small generators, because you can actually get quite a lot of power in a small place. Obviously not as much as the fusion, and plus it just looks nice. And I do like the fact that you can kind of squeeze quite a lot of them in there. So I'm going to properly squeeze you into the corner. And I'm going to see. I think I can hit 
four, four of these, more or less. Get in there. Get in there, son. I'm quite happy to be back in this location. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, it's just, it's so cool. I haven't found a location that just makes me as happy as this one. If, if I had, like, an, uh, something similar-ish in the mire, I'd probably go there. But the reason I like the location, this location is because even when you're attacked, you're not really going to be bothered by anything. It's level 5 at maximum. Uh, whereas in the mire... Um, <laughs> you get lots of those scary anglers. I'm going to take that one. And what I can do is... I'll put that one instead. Oh, it's not clipping through. Wow, oh, it is clipping through. One sec. Just being a bit obsessive here. I could probably turn it around. There we go. Look at that. Looks all good. Oh, by the way, if you have that... You see where it's connecting there like that? You can just reconnect it again. Voila. Uh, so uh, that little bug there, it just it makes the, the spark stay around. If you just try and wire up something again, it should get rid of it. There we go. Davy Pro Tip. It's almost as if this is a guide channel. Right, so that is not as close as it could be. But fear thee not. You can get it in. I know you can, because I've had four of these in here before. Look at that C. Gorgeous, he says as it goes red. In you go. There you go, love. Beautiful. So there we go. That is uh, how much is that? Uh, Twelve. Is it what? Well, three, 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 three. Yeah, and seventeen power. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's get some of the wee conduits as well. I think I can probably squeeze this one in here, can't I? Can I? Nope. Okay, we're gonna have this one instead. Or I can just. Loki just pop it on the edge there, which I think will make my life infinitely easier. Oh, actually, let's pop it here. Because I'm going to have uh, two water purifiers as well. So one thing that I have been a little bit spoilt by uh, being in the mire for a while is having loads of water purifiers. One of the reasons why I've pushed for having more of the power is so I can have two of these. It's still not as much. With the water purifiers, I was getting about eight. Um purified water when I would log in. Now I get four with these, but it's still not bad. It's alright. It's, you know, manageable. Uh, one thing about these things, which is really annoying, is when you pick them up, um, they kind of... They they get in their own way, so you have to pick them up and then move them away again, which is a bit irritating. Because obviously they're really difficult to get completely straight. Unless you do that. Evidently I'm on fire today doing things the first time. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't be all stupid. Good enough. Actually, that's more than good enough. That's actually quite good. So, voila. Alright, so that is me. Glorious and happy with four purified water. Let's pop some uh, connectors. Um, you can tell I built this a lot, can't you? <laughs> Even though, the only reason, I don't rebuild this because someone's in the spot anymore, obviously, because they patched that out. But I do rebuild it a lot because, um, <laughs> because I keep building somewhere else for a video for you guys. And then I'm like, but I like my old place better. And, like, it's I, it's, it's annoying, I, I really should, um, because I've got a second character, I should probably start using that guy for building, but, or alternate at least, but I don't mind. I do it for you guys, you know what I mean? Alright, so there we go. And I can light this place area, but I want to try some structural elements. Now I kind of want, I'm going to attempt something and it might, you know, horribly go wrong, so don't judge, don't get angry at me, or be mean. Uh, I'm going to try and make some kind of raised platform. I was going to call it a tower, but um, possibly a little bit generous to call it a tower, let's be honest. Let's pop those off. Um, right, so what I'm going to do... Yeah, I, I think, uh, th let me know in the comments if you've experienced this. In the last, I think the last patch, they've slightly changed how, um, the controls a bit. It might just be on controller, so let me know if you're using a keyboard and a mouse. But in the, uh, so like, the way I'm, I'm pressing the, um, R1 and L1 to raise and lower it, but it kind of just changes the way it works slightly, but I might be, a uh, Going crazy. I'm gonna have it about like that. Um, it's just it's subtly changed the way it works. It's not bad. It's just different. And I noticed it the other day when I was trying to build. 
Um, so I want to kind of like a raised thing. If I just have it, it's going to be a car. Oh, am I getting attacked? I am. I think that's just someone up there. Oh, wait. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> um, I think someone just killed whatever was up there. It's fine. If I get attacked, I'll just quickly disappear. Um, so this is, my little, this is my little tower, basically. I wanted something where I could just kind of peek over the top. Something subtle. Just a, a kind of a raised area. Um, it also is fun to kind of just play around with the levels a bit. Um, I'm going to pop... I'm not this over here. I can have my power armor station over here. Can I have my power armor station over here? You can let me place this floor down. I'm gonna be a ball. Oh wait, nope. Nah, not there. Let's pop it. I guess there. Let's have it separate. I like spacing things out. Let's have my power armor station there. Um. It's interesting, because I've rebuilt this so many times, but already it looks very, very different. And it's very... If you have your, you know, your favourite kind of structure, I'd recommend just kind of playing with it and seeing what you can do. Because even right now, I'm looking at this and I'm, I'm getting quite excited because it looks completely different. I'm, I'm, I'm quite simply making this stuff up. I was like, I'm just going to try it and see what I make. And it's different, but it's also familiar, um, which is quite nice. So you guys get to see something I've made before, but obviously I've never shown you how I made before. But at the same time, it's it's different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put... I can't put another floor here, can I? Oh, wait, no, I can. All right. Fair dues. Apparently, I can. I'm going to put a bog. This is where the loo's going to go. This is, this is where we poop. Just thought I'd let you know, in case you're wondering. This is where I poop, you see. Um, <coughs> uh, we're going to put a chair over here as well, because obviously, maybe there's a queue. Um, I've got on actually quite a lot of the stuff now. That, 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 that's, that's, that looks like a festival seat, doesn't don't you think? Um, I still don't annoyingly have many of the stash boxes, which I'm... Uh, it's not grand, but it's alright, so we're just going to pop that there. So if you just want to, for whatever reason, hang out next to the loo, you can. Uh, let's pop... Uh, I think I have some... Yeah, I have some lanterns. Or, uh, that's not the lantern, that's why, David. And I think, I don't know about you, but I feel as if I would have flamingos outside that. Where's me flamingos? Flamingo. There we go. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. <laughs> All right, so this is, I like this already, because it's familiar but different. Uh, so I think I'm going to put the food there. Um, I actually annoyingly lost a load of my food, so I, I think I only just have enough, but uh, we'll manage, yeah, we'll manage. We'll be alright. Pop that there. I really, so um, if you have the hard bargain, you can sell food for about two caps, which doesn't seem very much, but if you get the perk, the green thumb perk, suddenly you're, you know, you're, you're kind of getting quite, you can basically put quite a lot of food down. It doesn't even really take up much of your settlement budget. And so with that in mind, you could, and I know a lot of people do this, you can kind of, you know, get you get your kind of 200 caps a day for a certain vendor just from food. Um, but I, I'm, I'm obviously, as you, a lot of you know, I'm kind of all about the, the aesthetics, so I don't want too much food. But I probably maybe think about getting some razor grain. I really like that a lot. Let's pop a chair up there so it looks like we're kind of, you know, so kind of like perch for looking out of where are my chairs I'm going blind. Is it just me or do these menus feel like they don't make any sense? <laughs> it's just me. Not to complain, but I feel as if uh, sometimes. Oh, yeah, let's have a rocking chair. I got a load of rocking chairs recently. So I'm going to rock over here. Um, I kind of feel as if... So let's have it there. And we'll have a little table. I think I have some sideboards, actually. Uh, I've got a little one somewhere. Where have I got it? Is that one? Nah, maybe that doesn't... I think I'm in a, a Fallout 4 mode, and there's a tiny little table which we don't have anymore. That one! I want that one! God damn it, I don't have that table. Right, well, I would have that table, but apparently I don't have it. I don't have anything. 
All right, we'll have a little locker for weapons or whatever. No, that doesn't look very good. No, no, we'll just leave it. We'll just have the, the little one there. It's fine. Okay, so let's put some crafting stations down. See, this isn't really a construction build as such, but it's kind of, I, I kind of like doing things like this now again, where I'm kind of trying to show you that you can make stuff which is less structural and more about kind of use of space. It's, especially with the, uh, you know, with Fallout 76 and the fact that we don't really have many, as I keep mentioning nearly every single video, many kind of structural elements. It's, it's fun to kind of see what else you can do with the stuff that you have. And I think, I, I would argue this is probably still my best build, which is weird, the thing I did in the first week, but it is what it is. Uh, I need water as well. I need a pump. I need a pump, 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 pump. Uh, where are you? Where are we going to put the pump? We're going to put the pump over here. I also need a scarecrow, obviously. Where is me? Um, floor decorations. See what I mean? I swear these things just don't make any sense. Um, I'm going to pop it here. I'm going to quickly run over and grab this. Um, I always, always, always put this in my farm. Uh, just because it, 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 it suits me. It suits it. It looks nice in the farm, I feel. And it also lights up the farm when it's night time as well, which, to be fair, I think it's getting in the evening anyway, so I will try and motor a wee bit. Uh, so let's do the inside quickly. What are we on? 16 minutes. That's grand. Let me show you how I... Uh, so a lot of people have mentioned uh, they struggle with putting stuff inside these, uh, so I'm going to quickly do that. Actually, while I'm here, though, let's probably pop the lights on so that way if it gets dark... You guys don't have to worry about not being able to see anything. See, I think ahead. Um, and I'll pop it in the corner there. So that way you can see inside. Alright, okay. So in Fallout 4, a lot of you know you had what was infamously referred to as the rug glitch. You can, what I'm going to say is, kind of do that now. It doesn't work in the same way. Where are my beds? There they are. Um, but it kind of works-ish the same way. Uh, so, I know exactly where these need to go on the rug. It's not like I've done this a million times already and know exactly the position it needs to be. Uh, so, in Fallout 4, um, you see how I'm moving this rug, it's moving the bed on top of it. Now, in Fallout 4, I'd be able to do this and it would go green because the way Fallout 4 worked is it would only use the collision of the item that you're holding and then everything else would effectively be ignored so it's very useful for like sinking fences in all that kind of jazz um in fallout 76 it's a different system however it still works the same way uh in the fact is that you can rug glitch things in and it makes it a little bit easier for you so if i were to pick this bed up so if i was a grab a bed I can't get it as close as I would like. It's, 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 I can't squeeze it in. If it's on a rug, I can squeeze in a little bit closer. Just that extra, that extra inch. Let me just um, get this in first. Because uh, it's obviously, I swear it is grabbing stuff a little bit closer. And I can, uh, calm down, calm down, that precious. There we go. So let's just, uh, you might do, um, I said it's recently changed the system around, I think. There we go. So it seems to be grabbing stuff a little bit closer than it used to. Which is why it's getting a bit confused. But as long as you don't panic, you can usually just... There we go. See, it's nice and sheer to the edge now. Whereas if I um, had placed that in manually, it wouldn't have really gotten as close. So I do like, um, by the way, on the Atom Store, the new a lot of the new store boxes. I might actually get stash box. The toy one looks quite cool actually, I don't know. I might get the Nuka Cola one. Right, let me just quickly put some stuff in here and then I'll do a little bit of extra decoration um, off camera and then we'll do a tour. Let me just put some stuff in the walls. I recently unlocked the clocks. Where are my clocks? Where are my clocks? There we go. Um, I found the uh, the responder vendor, uh, so I'm quite chipper. I'm gonna put my cuckoo clock on because it's adorbs. Alright, fair enough. Not gonna be put, we'll put it there instead. I'm gonna put it there. I can put me there. You can't put things in the center because, because fuck my life, really. And we'll pop one of these posters on. E -b -b -b. Really close. Which one are we gonna do? Which one are we gonna do? 
I haven't unlocked those yet. Uh, oh, it's got a silver shroud one. I don't have a silver shroud one. God damn it. Choices, choices. Let's let's uh let's have the walls have ears. I can't put that one there, can I not? Put it there. There. God damn it. Alright, well let me just I hate that sound so much. That sound actually gives me like genuine anxiety. Um right, you know what? Let me just uh what I'll do is I'm going to finish decorating off this area, uh, put a few pieces um, and stuff around, and then we can kind of do the full tour. One sec. So I've just finished decorating, and I'm going to show you it at daytime as well. But I wanted to show you at night first, because I think it really... Uh, I went a bit overboard with the lanterns, to be fair. But I think this area looks really, really nice at night time. It's very, very cosy. It just feels quite, I don't know wholesome I guess I really you can probably see why I like this location so much because you can fit quite a lot in there and it's just quite a nice use of space let's just have a, a quick look see so I've only put two turrets down um this character I keep forgetting to get the higher level home defense skill because uh, I've got quite a an extensive like I think it's up to level about 80 uh a kind of character build and I haven't finished that yet but I should probably just spend one level getting the uh Home defense level two, so I can get the better turrets. But uh, one thing: always surround your turrets uh, with the little punji boards, so that way annoying mole rats and all those little critters don't, you know, chew them up and things like that. Got my loo, got my workshop area. I've got two weapon workbenches just because obviously they just look nice and they're a cool piece of furniture. Got the wee farm. I've got the. The little kind of raised guard post there. It's quite nice. This is actually one of the directions you get attacked by as well. So it kind of makes sense for you to just sit here and you can just pick them off. Obviously got the uh, water purifiers. Got my little music area. Uh, I use this area as well for kind of like character buffs and things like that. So I just sit here and get obviously my fine tuned. I do like this. I don't know what it is. I want more stuff to stick to it. I need to unlock all of the... Uh, uh, the pipe letter things, the other glowing letters, but at some point I just kind of wanted something that just used that space. So I've got my crafting for my armor and also my chems, and then I've got my rather cozy little sleeping area. I think with uh, Fallout 76, those of you who played Fallout 4 extensively do know that kind of we don't have the same level of decoration as we did in the later stages of Fallout 4, but at the same time it's kind of equivalent to Fallout, uh, kind of early vanilla Fallout 4. And I guess because we're only a few months in, uh, hopefully in March, April time, we maybe even actually get some kind of like a lot more content. So let me just uh, quickly serve hop until I get daytime. You can see it in the nice sunny weather. One sec. And here we are in the, I mean, not necessarily glorious sunshine. It's actually a wee bit grey, but that may just be because it's just in the, the midday. So it's it's such a nice location. I love this so much. It feels just so secure and and whole. The only thing I think this could do with, and what I want to do, as soon as I find the damn thing, I'll add it in, is it's going to have a uh, the decontamination arch literally there. Just imagine this, right, but with a decontamination arch right there. So just go in, pop the button, and you're good to go. But yeah, I hope you guys like this. I, I've, no, I've obviously shown you this build before, but this is obviously a very different version. I've never actually shown you how I make it, uh, especially in terms of just placing the fences down. And I just kind of wanted an excuse to build it again, basically. <laughs> so I get to make a video and also get to have my favorite camp. I'm obviously going to still hunt down locations. I've got quite a few ideas for things and pieces, but I'll probably do those soon soon. Uh, as well with this one, you could build it in quite a few other locations or any area that just has a nice flat open. Similar to uh, those of you who watched my uh, Sons of Dane compound, that area would be ideal for something like this because it looks really cool. Uh, the only thing I hope in the future, Bethesda, if you happen to stumble across this video, please let us flatten the grass. If we just get let us flatten the grass, that would open up loads of new areas because you could actually place down a bed without, you know, having grass, you know, poking your head while you sleep. But yes, um, I will have uh, more videos this week. Uh, Resident Evil 2, the remake drops on Friday. I probably won't have a video then, but over the weekend I want uh, maybe a, one of those kind of first hour, first 30 minutes, uh, and I potentially might stream it as well, so that should be quite fun. 
as well as I've got a few build ideas for Fallout 76 and one or two guide videos in the works too, as well as I'm gonna actually sit down and record the latest Don't Starve videos. Also, I've got a, a lot on my plate. It is January to be fair. Those of you who don't know, YouTubers tend to wind down a little bit in January. It's a combination of getting back in the new year and also people tend to watch less videos for whatever reason. So if you ever, your favorite YouTubers aren't actually uploading very much in January, it's usually because it's just the time of the year where everyone's really lazy uh, but we're getting into the rhythm now anyway you guys enjoy the rest of your week as always follow me on twitter at no response and i will talk to you fantastic bunch soon you take care